What's up, you guys? This is Mary with HPI High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps to the side, and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to my channel. You guys are just the bomb.com. I do, I do, I do. Just saying. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. I don't ask you for money. Um, I put the donation link down there in case anybody wants to donate, but of course, no pressure. But if you see somebody in the comment section with the WhatsApp bandit shit, please report them, please, because one, it's not me, and two, they're scammers. So just saying, just saying. All right. So, um, I wasn't going to do one tonight. Um, I just wasn't. <laughs> but I got a channeling in, and it's a really good one. So why why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, I was pulling in that crazy-ass Secret 7 forever. So it's nice to see. And I even got good messages in the Secret 7. And that's just the truth. Even when all that crazy shit was going down in the Secret 7, there was still good messages in there. But thank God it's all ended. And that's just the truth. Because... It was crazy, but my point is there's good and bad energy, and this is good energy, but I've been pulling in more better energy recently, which is wonderful, um, really wonderful. Um, so, I mean, that's to me, that's proof that my collective, at least my collective, I can't speak on anybody else's, but my collective's energy is shifting, and that's just the truth, because, yeah, I pull in a lot of spiritual downloads for me. We all know that, but... A lot of them aren't for me, too. And that's just the truth. Like, I'm not a Caps teenager. I'm not an Aquarius, younger Aquarius masculine that knocks somebody up. I'm not an older Aquarius masculine that's about to pass away. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, so even though some of the downloads are for me, and that's just the truth. I mean, that's the truth. But some aren't. So just saying, just saying. Okay, so we're getting into it. So the channel message I received was someone's predictions um they have they have um uh, your predictions not someone's predictions your predictions has someone shook that's what i heard my dear hot diggity damn dog <laughs> your predictions has someone shook okay so last week i was pulling in your glow up is going to have somebody shook. And then now somebody's predictions got, got somebody shook. Somebody got somebody shook. And that's just the truth. <laughs> I mean, that's a good, but that's a good shook because, you know, like, okay, for example, remember when I was pulling in that damn serial killer about a year ago? <laughs> that left me shook except in a bad way you see what i'm saying like in all seriousness that's not a laughing matter um that's true that was true energetic space and i don't think that person has gotten caught because if that person had gotten caught it'd be all over national news so i think that serial killer is still out is still out there in the energetic space and in fact some other readers have been pulling in a serial killer recently it might be the same one for all we know because to my knowledge, that serial killer that I was pulling in a year ago still hadn't got caught. Because if they had, we would know about it all over the national news. And that's just the truth. Um, so I don't think that serial killer that I was pulling in about a year ago has gotten caught. Because I think other readers are picking up on that same damn serial killer. And I'm just being for real. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay, but anyways, I digress. But my point is, your predictions... Has someone shook my dear? Now, anybody doesn't know, and you're not up with the terminology and the uppity up language or whatever, whatever, whatever. Sorry, that's a marker that exploded on my arm. Um, shook means um, like, whoo. But that can be, whoo, can be in a good or a bad way. So just saying, just saying, saying. So someone's predictions has somebody shook. So. It could be your predictions that got somebody shook or somebody else. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, they either got them shook in a good way or shook in a bad way. 
Just saying. Let's pull some cards. Your predictions has them shook because you have been proven, you have been proven to be right many times. Okay, your predictions has people shook uh, because you've been proven to be right many times. So, um, whoever you are, you're like a, I feel you're like a female Nostradamus or a dude Nostradamus, uh, masculine or femme, um, truth, truth speaker, and fortune teller because predictions if it's a prediction meaning it hasn't happened yet um you predicting it to happen so futuristic energy um so like i said i feel you could be a dude no like a dude nostradamus or a chickadoo Nostra nostradamus say that five times fast and i'm just being for real for real um you plug in how it resonates but true teller energy and i feel I didn't hear this, but intuitively, I feel it's a mixture. I think some of you guys, uh, some of you are literal guys, male energies. Some of you are females, female energy. And I'm just being serious, for real, for real. I do. And I, I feel intuitively different, many different age ranges of you guys, too. I mean, I feel and I'm pulling in a lot of you guys, is what I'm saying. Like, I can just sense it. Spirit message that you have is like this. Two separate people, one masculine, one feminine. Are manifesting right now separately. Both in their thirties. Very alike on many different levels. There's about to be huge changes in these people within the next especially next next month next two months huge positive changes and it's going to be seen very publicly both single both single 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 that's double deuces confirmation single single so whoever you, okay so there's two different in this situation there's two different energies both in their 30s so 30 to 39 i'm presuming Oh, excuse me. Confirmation by birth. So both in their 30s, 30 to 39, one femme and one masculine. They're manifesting separately. So energetically, let me just put this down for a minute. So let me just explain this. So like anybody doesn't know about spiritual realm because I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. So maybe you're not familiar. So I'll explain it. Okay. Manifesting. Manifesting means building, growing, building something great well it could be great or bad but you're conjuring something up in your life is what i'm trying to say and that's just the truth manifestation is money love positive connection negative connections um whatever it is you can manifest chaos but manifestation is basically just bringing forth things in your life whether it's good or bad is what i'm trying to say okay you can google manifestation for people who don't know what that is i don't want to get too deep into it because when I get on here and talk about manifestation for the newbies that, especially newbies like in my city and in my area that click on my channel and hear me talk about manifestation, they want to go like burn, they literally want to go like burn me at the stake. Like, I've been called a witch in my city before, you guys. Just let everybody know. I literally have been in my city enjoying, trying to enjoy whatever, whatever, whatever. I have been yelled at across the way and have been called a witch true story true story <laughs> i mean you can't make this shit up even if you wanted to and that is a true story and
again, the night I got arrested, October of 2021, on the, the only reason I got arrested was disturbing the peace because that asshole officer, dirty ass cop, basically bro broke the policies and procedures and took my kids without following the proper policies and procedures. And when I got the body cam footage, and I still have it to this day, um, he was making fun of me in the Hemsey, which I, I'm sure he didn't know I was going to see this because he didn't know at that time I was going to order the body cam footage, but I did. So he was making fun of me by the with the Hemsey driver behind the scenes as I was sitting over here quietly waiting on these assholes to basically set me up. But he was making fun of me with the Hemsey driver on the body cam footage. And it called me, uh, and the Hensley driver called me a, um, a witch. So I wasn't supposed to know about that one, but it did, is what I'm saying. But the person that called me, yelled at me and screamed at me and called me a witch in my city, as I'm just out trying to enjoy life, and that has only been about eight or nine months ago or something like that, seven or eight, nine months ago, something like that. Um, no, it was in like, it was in May. It was in May. June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, seven months ago. Um, and that's the truth. So I'm just saying, um, we're in 2022 and people still, still act ugly to this day. And I'm just being serious. I can only speak on myself. I hope none of you guys have been called a witch, but I have. And that's been less, that was like seven months ago. In 2022. So I hope none of you guys are being persecuted. Um, and I, I'm being serious, but I'm just saying. So anyways, okay, we're getting back to the reading. So there's two of you guys, right? One masculine, one feminine, both in your 30s. You're both manifesting. I got off on the witch train because of the talking about manifestation. But anyway, so you're manifesting by each energetically separated. So you're separated manifesting your goals and dreams separately but and you're both in your 30s but i heard there's about to be huge changes with both of you guys within the next month or two positive changes so whatever you're manifesting whether you use you know you can manifest on the positive side is what i'm saying fun kitchen witch fun garden witch shit positive magic not the negative conjuring up the demons, conjuring up the succubuses, conjuring up the incubuses, um, conjure, um, using dead animals as sacrifices or people as sacrifices. Not that kind of shit because that stuff really does happen. Those people should be called witches and that's just the truth. Just saying, just saying. Um, not the fun kitchen witch, garden witch shit. I'm all about that. Y'all know that. But, my point is, there's about to be huge, both these, both these people manifest, and I think they both believe in magic. They most certainly do. That's confirmation. They both certainly do. Yeah, they do. I, I felt it. Intuitively, I felt it. They both believe in magic, and I mean, I'm not talking about like, do you believe in magic? I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> like, manifestation, like, <laughs> Growing your dreams and um, uh, your dreams and wishes on a positive light side manner, like doing it the right way. That's what I'm trying to say. I have too much fun with these sometimes, but <laughs> but anyways. So I heard you guys are about to basically go up. You're about to basically go up in a positive way, um, and that's really beautiful. It really, really is. Um, it's about to benefit you both in huge ways. It's about to benefit you both in huge ways. So whoever you are, one masculine, one femme, it's about to benefit you both in huge ways. And I heard both of you guys are very single. You're very single. So that's very significant in here. And, you know, hey, shout out to my people in relationships. Um, shout out to my... Oh, I learned a new term tonight, too. Let me see if I can find it. Shout out to my cougar. Shout out to my youngies. Um, oh, I was going to find the term for the, the okay so you know how cougar is a term for middle aged like me well not me because i'm not a cougar um i'm not actually into young guys and that's just the truth they're too immature unless you're way 
unless you're way mature for your age. If you're way mature for your age, that'd be different. But I haven't ran into any of those people in my 3D space, and that's just the truth. But so it hasn't applied to me. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Manther. There is a, okay, so like tar, cougar, I'm diver, I'm digressing, but we'll get back on track in a minute. Okay, so cougar is um, the term for an older femme, right? Um, that likes young dudes. Well, a manther, which I didn't know this term until tonight, a manther is a term for an older dude that likes young girls but not pedophile not a pedophile energy this is like legal age but like real young legal they're called manthers <laughs> i think that's funny spirit messages you have all right i'm gonna speed this up we're already at 16 minutes nest and emotionally secure loving family is important to you Bird flying news is on the way. So huge changes within the next month for both of you guys. Nest and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. For one of these people, they're about to get their kids back, their mini-series of chain events. For one, the other one, they're about to help and make it happen. Paying, gonna pay it forward to this person in a huge way. Okay. So, one, these, both these people are in their 30s. So, it could be the masculine about to get kid or kids back, their mini-series of chain events, or fem, fem. But, you have to plug in and help resonate. Energies can be reversed. But, we've got one person in their 30s, man or woman, that basically has lost custodial rights to ch child or children or um, or has reduced rights or something of that nature, how that resonates and applies. But how that resonates, um, it sounds like it was unwarranted. It was very unwarranted. It was very unwarranted. It was very unwarranted. Yeah, sounds like, um, sounds like it. Um, I'm sure that the McClendon standard probably wasn't met, just like in my situation. And that's just the truth. Um, you might have to go, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you're probably in an appeal process, I'm presuming right now, like I am. I'm presuming, I mean, I'm just saying, um, but, um, who, however this resonates, one of you, whether you're a man or woman in your 30s, I'm presuming 30, 39, you have recently lost custody of child or children or reduced custody, custodial rights, uh, like me, like the custody battle energy, um, um, through some kind of series of chain events. In my case, like I said, the McClendon standard definitely was not met. It just was not. And that's just the truth. I got screwed over in huge ways. In huge ass ways. Because it's clear as day in black and white that it it didn't, it shouldn't have happened. If we're, the judicial system, we're supposed to go by the McClendon standard. Well, hell, I followed by the McClendon standard. If anybody needs to hear that. Plus some. And now my kids are hopped up on Prozac. And that's medicinal abuse. If anybody needs to hear that. Because they're exhibiting both exhibiting signs and symptoms of serotonin syndrome. That's chemical abuse of a minor. And if one of my kids passes away or both, I will place a lawsuit. Just let everybody know. But anyway, so, um, so yeah, so heard through many series of chain of events one of these people is going to help get the other person i guess right or rights back or provide information to help them get rights back or create series of chain of events to help them get the rights back or something like that whether they have lost full custody they have no right where they have no rights their um uh partial custody uh half custody or whatever 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 okay um however that resonates okay one femme, one masculine, only you know where you fit, not anybody else. One of these people is going to help the other person get up back. One of these people is um, 
going to provide the information or create series of chain events to help them get them back. I feel it's two or two plus kids. It is two, two to two plus kids. It is two to two plus kids. That's confirmation. Yeah, two to two plus kids. So an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you is the kids. Um, it's the kids. Somebody misses their kids. And trust me, I understand because I miss my kids. You just have no freaking idea. No idea. And the information and the evidence is huge. And the information and the evidence is huge. Huge is what I heard. The information and the evidence is huge. So somebody's got some huge information and evidence on somebody. Um, and whoever you are, sir, ma'am, whether you're the man or woman that's going to step up and help the other person, I think you might know the information or have the evidence, and you're about to step up and provide it to help the other person out is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. I think that's the news that's on the way. Is the information and the evidence about you're about to step up and provide it to help the other person get their two or two plus kids back because it sounds like they were screwed over. They were screwed over in a huge way, but the energy is about to shift. Okay, I heard they were screwed over in a huge way, but the energy is about to shift. Well, kudos to you, sir, ma'am. I mean, I heard both of you guys about to see huge positive changes in about a month, a uh, month or two, so that's great. Just saying, just saying. And that's about to be a very significant breakup of a earth sign feminine and a water sign masculine. Very significant. There's about to be a very significant breakup of a earth sign femme, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo femme, and a water sign masculine. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine. Both adults. They're both adults. So both these people are adults. Earth's on Femme, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Femme. She got Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. And then uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Masculine. He could have Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, <laughs> can't speak. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in his Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. Very significant, break, significant breakup coming between these two. Um, this is a Masculine, Water Sign, Adult, and a Femme, Earth Sign, Adult. But the breakup's coming. News is on the way of the breakup. I think some of you guys are about to learn of this breakup. That's what I think. That's about to be very significant. So I think these people are, I don't know, like, I think a lot of people know them. Um, and, um, I, yeah, I do. I think a lot of people know them. I think they're very heavy in the public eye. Um, and I think a lot of people know them. That's exactly what I think. A lot of people do know them. A lot of people. Okay, it's a confirmation. A lot of people do know them. Yeah. Just saying, just saying. Okay. There's about to be huge things, ha uh, positive things happen for both of you very soon. There's about to be huge positive things happen for both of you soon. So there's about to be huge positive things happen for both of you guys soon. Well, kudos. Kudos to you guys. All right. Well, I love you guys so much and namaste.